Tesla is going to build batteries at the Fremont factory. Tesla needs so many factories that it's going to use even the Fremont factory to build batteries for its electric cars, actually battery equipment. Friends, this is not the same as the Tesla's Cato Road battery facility, which produces 4680 batteries on small scale, uh, which is right next door of the Fremont factory. But this is different as Tesla has filed to build a new battery manufacturing equipment line at the Fremont factory in Northern California. The factory, which Tesla purchased in 2010, is the only in the company's lineup to produce all four Tesla models. Imagine they're already very busy. They're produ producing so many cars. Elon praised the Fremont factory recently, but now they need so many batteries that they're going to even use the facility, the Fremont factory, to build battery equipments. It has not been known as a battery cell or pack manufacturing plant. I mean, Fremont factory, as the company's Giga factory in Sparks, Nevada, produces those EV components. Now, when we talk about Tesla batteries, we think of Sparks Nevada, we think of Cattle, we think of LG Energy and uh, others producing batteries for Tesla. We think of Gigafactory Austin recently, I po uh, yesterday or day before I posted that we saw uh, 4680 cell packs at the second floor of Gigafactory Austin, hopefully produced there. We think of Giga Berlin, which is going to sh soon finish the cell building and in a few months start building the 4680 batteries by Sp uh, Fremont Factory. Well, like I said, it has has not been known as battery cell or pack manufacturing plant as the company's Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada produces those electric vehicle components, meaning batteries. However, the filings by Tesla, which we learned yesterday, indicate Tesla may be looking to slightly expand its uh, cell manufacturing efforts with the new production lines at Fremont Factory. Filed and signed by Tesla on August 30, yesterday, the permit is labeled as, quote, Tesla F210391 ACTA Battery B Building. Again, Battery B Building, end of the quote. Tesla gives the following description of the project. I'm going to quote, new battery manufacturing equipment line on second floor of main assembly building. This permit application relates to the module portion of the line. End of the quote. This is a $1.5 million investment. Now, I'm going to tell you about the financial part in a moment, but look at this. Tesla says this is new battery manufacturing equipment line. In the title, uh, the, this, uh, it's labeled as battery B building. In the description, it says battery equipment manufacturing. Well, battery equipment is basically batteries, right? Or keep in mind that the um, Sparks Nevada Gigafactory where uh, Panasonic is building batteries for Tesla is just next door. So Tesla may be helping. Maybe Panasonic needs some help there with more equipment and Tesla may be quickly manufacturing equipment, bring the other rest of uh, the parts from Sparks Nevada and then put them in the cars and, and move. I don't know. What do you think? So the project is valued at $1.5 million according to documents seen by Tesla. So it takes $1.5 million to add a battery production line, just one line, I mean. I don't know. What do you think if anybody understands the finances of these friends? Anyway, so additionally, another application reveals a 1.3 million project that includes the installation of a new maintenance office, a storage area, production cells with equipment for hood, fender, and trunk lids, and offline sale manufacturing equipment. This project is listed to be on the first floor of the assembly building. So second floor Tesla will be using a line for battery manufacturing in the Fremont factory. First floor will be the 1.3 million project that includes the installation of new maintenance office, a storage area, and so on. Interestingly, the Fremont factory has been one of Tesla's most specially confined facilities. Earlier this year, during a visit from Morgan Stanley analysts, including Adam Jonas, the firm noted the Fremont factory was incredibly tight in terms of storage capacity and room in general. I don't know how Tesla is going to expand the Fremont factory, friends. If you guys have any idea or have been at the Fremont factory, let us know in the comment section below and about adding a battery line there. Despite running at a capacity of 20% above 
20% above what has been considered its maximum, the Fremont plant was never designed to produce 450,000 electric vehicles at its peak produced 300,000 units before Tesla took it over from Toyota, which was immediately apparent at the tour, Jonas wrote in his note describing the visit to Tesla's Fremont factory. He also said Tesla does not shy away from the fact the plant is inefficiently designed with four assembly buildings, one of which is a tent that cars are assembled in, referring to Gigafactory assembly line 4.5, which was actually um, assembly line 4.5, which was made permanent last year, and it's in a tent. Just two weeks prior to Morgan Stanley's visit to Fremont, CEO Elon Musk stated Tesla was considering expanding Fremont significantly. While many of us just thought this likely meant an expansion of vehicle production alone, Musk may have been hinting toward an expansion of the manufacturing process altogether. Now, let me tell you something about Tesla batteries manufacturing efforts. Tesla has held battery supply deals with Panasonic, Cattle, uh, and LG Chem, but has also started building its own battery cells in-house. In 2020, Tesla unveiled its 4680 battery cell, which has already been prototype tested by Panasonic. Tesla has been building the cell at the Cato Road facility, just a few blocks away from Fremont's front doors. However, the automaker has not scaled this cell to mass production as of yet, and Tesla could always use more battery cells. I think the Fremont's uh, Cato Road's uh, facility's uh, capacity is about 10 gigawatt hours or so. That's not big. In fact, Giga Berlin's cell building's announced capacity is 250 gigawatt hour, 250 to 200, uh, 300 gigawatt hours, uh, if once it reaches the full capacity. Now, with the 4680 cell not quite reaching mass production volumes yet, an order log that grows with what seems to be every minute and a production volume that just simply has not caught up to Tesla's demand, it would make sense to expand in-house battery manufacturing efforts as supplementary support, but I just don't know where Tesla is going to find the space, but I'm sure Tesla has already found the space, or maybe Tesla freed some space from the second floor, moved that whatever they were doing there at Fremont's second floor, maybe Tesla has moved that operation to Gigafactory in Austin, they have plenty of space there, and starting to produce batteries at the Fremont factory, you put them so that you don't have to ship them from far away because gas is expensive, shipment cost is, cost is expensive, so you can simply um, put the batteries and move. Now, uh, I think we have said this now for many years. I know has proven true. Tesla does not have a demand problem. We have a production uh, problem, Musk said often uh, after the uh, quarter two. Uh, and he said, we've always, we've almost always had it's a very rare exception. It's always been production problem, Musk said after the quarter two announcement. And he said, I think that will remain the case at least for, for a while. Now, over the past months or so, Tesla has filed to make many significant changes at the Fremont factory. After we reported on the construction efforts that are seemingly underway. Tesla has also been filing several applications with the city of Fremont for the equipment repositioning as well as the construction of new foundations and manufacturing equipment. Even things as simple as light poles are being repositioned to make way for potential new manufacturing buildings. This is what Tesla is doing in order friends to prepare place. So what do you think about Tesla building batteries or filing to build electric vehicle batteries on new production lines at Fremont factory. Keep in mind at the moment Tesla has a small production 4680 battery cells near the main building in Fremont on Cato Road, but this is different. It was a test line at Cato Road on which the company honed the production process to implement it into large-scale production at all of its factories. Production of 4680 batteries is expected to begin at Giga Texas Gigafactory this quarter and by the end of 2022 we exceed 
speed will exit production output at Cato Road. After the installation of the equipment is completed, the battery factory at Giga Berlin will also start its work, as I said above. During this time, Tesla can begin preparations for the production of 4680 battery cells at Fremont so that eventually each manufacturer's factory has its own production of new battery cells. You need that, friends. Tesla needs this in order to have its own batteries, put them in cars as they produce with die casting and so on, and push them to deliveries. What do you think? If you found this report and found it healthy, uh, hel helpful, useful, interesting, please like this video. I would greatly appreciate it as you would help to put it in front of more people. And this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to your comments, your opinion, what, what do you think about all these developments and how Tesla will find place in the Fremont factory. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Toyota is also looking to triple its investment in EV battery facility in the United States. I'm going to tell you next about that.